Okay, everybody, let's do this. EA Sports and the RNA are proud to present third round coverage of the Open Championship. Once again, Nutty Woods is on the scene. Frank, through the years, there have been some great winners at the Open Championship the played open. at Royal Troon. Well, just in recent uh, history, I remember Mark Kalkovec here in the playoff with Wayne Wonders. Grady and Greg Needed. Norman. Um, there was also we'll Todd Hamilton when he beat Ernie Els in the four-hole playoff. And back in 1996, Justin Leonard was the winner of the Open Championship. Tom Watson also won an Open Championship here. Tom Weisskopf, his only major, that was 1973. The great Arnold Palmer, Bobby Locke, they all won at Royal Troon. Real simple. I just take a look at the fairway, get my aiming down, pretty much fire away. Skill shots are later, obviously. He makes a great pass at the golf ball. It's powerful, but it's rhythmic at the same time. Wayward from the tee, much. and this one is headed for the rough, Frank. No problem, folks. All sitting down here in the rough. He's digging in. looking at win. Not really. Could be close. Basically, look at my uphill lie, right? Basically, switch over to my pitch. Actually, I think I'll chip it this time. Approximations. Why not? Give me a good roll. And that's how wow. you do it when you nutty shot. woods, baby. What are the chances of making it from there? <laughs> that's right. Eagle. Frank, as we step to the tee here at the par four second hole, just 391 yards, but a classic case on Lynx Golf, where the bunkering here is just so much different than a classic American layout. And it's also where a change of strategy will certainly help. Remember, the ball's going to run uh, much further here in Scotland than what it will in America. So you can use a shorter club and let that ball to run out to the normal distance you would hit it, perhaps with two or three clubs going. more. Ah, here it is, folks. That drive is looking sweet. About a well -hit shot. I think I can roll up on the green once again and one. Can he do it? Can he get the bounce? Can he get the roll? Can he get on the edge of the green? Yes, he can, folks. You see Nutty Woods live what in action. What a display of power and precision off the tee. On the green here on the bar four in one. Pretty long putt right here. You'd be happy to get it to within two, three feet. When I putt, I look at that white line, and I take it straight up. I don't follow the white line. I go straight up the way it comes off the putter, and I go straight up so I know exactly how to move it to the right, and I line that straight up. I don't curve with the line. And then, of course, five inches up. Six. I'm blind right now. I'm gonna take that to that's a six, so we're going to forty one. So it was at thirty five. We took it up six to forty one. Mm, might be a little smidge too far to the right. I'm gonna tap that back to the left. And let's go for it folks. Ah, too much. You want that one again? Always two components to the Sounds long lag, nice. but the speed, number one, <laughs> and then the read. And missed out on that second part. Getting set now over the putt. Well, this is relatively easy, easy straight in. All right, we'll take a bird. Starting to put it together right now, Frank. Join that trio. Right, three shots top. back. I'm Jigga. As you can see, six under. 
Now at the third hole here at Royal Troon and Frank, Three another nine. sort of short par four, just 379 Three yards. Left in this Simplicity is the key here, you Rich. You right don't really corner. want to hit the ball more than 280 yards. Reason why is there's a burn there. And then from there, still only a wedge into a green yeah, that has two tiers. Downhill of three feet with the wind five cutting across the face. Can I make it across? Sure, I can. Let's just aim over here to my left. Boosty boost and swing away. That boosty boost, you just tap that X, you know how to play. Just keep tapping it while you swing on the back stroke. Can he make it to the edge again in one? Can he do it? He's on the perimeter. Oh, Always makes the hold easier. Playing it from the it's okay. I'll just do a chip from there. Maybe I can get, e get an eagle from here. This, the second shot. Here at the par four. Okay, chipper. Looks pretty simple. Five to the hole. Two inches up. I'm going to tap this a little the right smidge not even that wind won't affect it of course I'm so close no I'm gonna keep it straight right on the pin how about that a little to the left of the pin and I'm gonna take it at a instead of five I'm gonna go two matter of fact give me three might be too much but gotta get there can't be scared all right you know what? Let me go with a two. Cause that thing tends to roll. And here we go. And there we have it again, folks. Wow, Frank, I did not expect that. Woods. Eagle. Remember that roll on the chip. Let's turn her back with you at Royal Troon. Frank, first par five of the, the round. Direction. What's ahead? Now we're to the right. The best opportunity for a birdie here is to take it's it over five, the bunk folks. on the right. If you Let's do that, you're going to get a little added roll. You go in here even with perhaps a mid on or a long on. You decide, draw a fade, whatever you want to do. I just go straight shot, aim it with the wind is what I do. Draw a fade sometimes, but right now I'm just taking it by aim. And with my boost, I'm going to take it way past where I'm at. Fire away. He's loading up on it. There it is. Look at the coil there. Blaster. <laughs> That is burning through the atmosphere. Look at that thing. Spin. It's got a tail no, what you're doing. That's like a rocket ship. That one was launched by NASA. Huge. Right with a couple of lights. It moves at a long way. Just keep that medic button once in the air. But this is some yeah. drive. I'm reminded of the old Phillies baseball announcer, Harry Callis, who used to say, that ball is out of pin, here. The flag, whatever you want to call it. And... The way I play it, when you look at the two feet, the arrow uphill for two feet, basically any number that's there, I take it and divide it by three. And that'll tell me how many yards I have to add it up. To add on to the 196 to get there, whether it's uphill or downhill, and take it off of that 196. This is how the game is supposed to be played. So, this has been just outstanding. Beautiful to watch. Had the wind in at my back coming across. I feel pretty safe at about. Let's see, is 193 good? Yeah, yeah. 196. That'd be 197. Uh, drop down to 192 ish. 193 is a good club, my 7 iron. And then, of course, I get my aim right for that 4 or 5 cutting across the face. Uh, let's go back and take a look at the fairway, see if it slopes any, what the undulations look like, nothing too heavy, so that four wind should blow me right to the flag stick at about, about right there I guess I'll call it, and we'll fire away. Now you can backspin to the right left, it looks right on the flag, so far, so I'm going to backspin right now just a little bit. That was just a gutsy shot right there and a good look at Eagle coming up. Frank, how rare would this be if this putt drops? Well, this is, this is uh, I'd like to say once in a lifetime, but on the odd occasion we do see back-to-back -back Eagles, but it Remember, certainly is something to watch. Look at that white line. See how it's coming straight out? I'm not going to follow the white line. I'm going to start off the putter, follow that white line out, and then I'm going to go 
straight, not curving with the line. I'm going to go straight out to my marker, the white arrow. So if I go straight out, if you go straight out, you should hit the point on the white marker to get the angle right. Just to give you an idea how to work that putter. How does that not go in? Glasses. Okay, anyway, we'll take a bird. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. This putt for birdie. Straight in, level putt. Yet another birdie, and yet another tie at the top of the leaderboard. Now the first par three here at Royal Troon. It's the fifth hole, a little bit more than 200 yards. What's the challenge here, Frank? A lot depends on the breeze. Uh, plus, Royal you remember, three. you've got to allow Two for the nine. roll and the bounce here. So Take anything pitching on the front of the green, let that ball oh, release or kick so towards the middle and back three. of the screen. It's going to give me an extra one, making it 210. I got a five win, which put it at 205, but that wind tends to gust a little stronger than what it says. So I would say around 202, something like that. It was 210 with the uphill. We got 205, 203, somewhere in that range. 202. 217 club. So I got a, two, I got a 193 7 iron. I got a 217 5 iron. Frank, this is good golfing I weather. 202 nice throwing so breeze. Drop down. Guestimation. My birthday is in February, so I'll take it at a 2. 202. The 6 1 adjustment. Wind to the right, I'm going to the left. Take a look at it, top flight. Make sure I have the right angle for that six win. Eh, that'll work. Fire away. Can I get a heartbeat for closeness? No. I'm going to backspin right here. Cody Trot, up next. That wind is blowing. Locked in on the read and the speed. Down eight inches, so we're going to drop down to 19. To accommodate for the hill, obviously. Remember that white line from the putter? Look at it going to the right a little bit. We're not going to follow it to the pin. We're going to just look at that right, the white line and where it starts off the putter. We're just going to go straight out to the marker. And that's a little too far, I think. About right there, maybe a little dab out, and let's see if that works, folks. Away we go. Cut back. A little more to the right. Ah. That may have been a bit too much to ask for there. That distance putt, Frank. Yeah, it's fine to line. be greedy it's before right. you hit the putt, but after you've hit it, two from that distance is fine. Needs this for par. Another good par. And that wraps up the third round. Just one more to go before we crown our champion. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm looking at my crystal ball, Rich, but uh, that champion that we see tomorrow might be the one right, just sitting at the leaderboard uh, on top of it right now. We'll be back momentarily for the fourth round. In the final round. They made a move by me, as you can see, for the fourth round. I'm in third. We'll see when it starts where I'll be positioned for the final round. Round four coming up, folks. Final round, the Open Championship. Where am I positioned? Let's take a look. Put me a 10 under. EA Sports and the RNA are proud to present <coughs> final round coverage of the Open Championship. Well, this golf course goes back a long ways to 1878, in fact. Scotland. We're at Royal Troon Golf Club in Scotland. Rich Floater alongside Frank Navalo. 
Frank, uh, where are some of the scoring opportunities out here? Well, normally when the uh, the Open Championships right, played, the breeze down. comes out of the uh, sort of northwest, which means those first few holes are played down breeze and the closing stretches played into the breeze. So really, you sort of make your hay on the way out and then you hang on for dear life on the way in. Um, that doesn't really change because you have some rather short par fours to start. Win. That's going to go way too far. Seven win. I could probably make it over to the fairway across the, the rough, but... I'm not even going to try it. I'm just going to play it safe right here. And with a seven win kick and eight win, I'm going to drop it down to about right. I go to 75 because I have a. I don't know. Let's stay at 80. That'll work. Let's take a look at it. <coughs> Shot, no boost, just over. Oh, beautiful swing, and the result is every bit as good. That is massive off the tee. Meters, yards, I don't care how you measure that. That's got to be what? Okay, 300 meters, 325 yards, something like that. 13 up, divide by 3, that gives me 4. We know about yards and feet, so that gives me 167 with the uphill lie. <coughs> So 167, with a 9 win, kicking at my back, that'll give me like a 158, let's check my clubs, I got a 156, that'll do for me, I'll take it over for the 8 win accommodation, that'll be about right, and let's take a look, over the hills and through the woods, going up, let's take a look at the 8, 9 win, kicking over, I should move a little more, but I'll stay right there. And let the wind do the rest. I'm going to drop it down to 155, just because that 8.9 keeps clicking. And that tends to blow pretty heavy, maybe even in 154. And I'll swing away. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot. That'll work, huh? He's making the game look very simple right now. See it, hit it, and he's got it right on track. Made a par in his previous round. This time, Levels. it's for birdie. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Let's take this right in. Should be fine. Oh, uh, dude, that. That's a birdie. One back. We are on. Frank, here at the 11th hole, what's the best All line to take? You've got to take it over the middle of that gorse on the left side. Um, so it doesn't look too inviting, but uh, that's where the fairway is. Great strike and a great result. Sitting up, good chance to attack the flag. Those who don't know how to play the game. That's how that goes. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. 104, he went at my back, he went 96 about. I take it off the fall. 96, so that's all I need. I'm going to go to 94, though, because that wind's kicking. This is just a superb performance. Great round to this point, Frank, and you can really see that reflected in his mood today. Yeah, it just looks too easy. Uh, swinging the club beautifully. Ball's going exactly where he, where he wants it to. He's not trying to take too many risks. So consequently, he's getting birdie opportunity after birdie opportunity. Eight right there. We'll do that. It was kind of short, but we'll take it. Wow, 
Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. After that birdie, we have a brand new leader on top of this leaderboard. Deservedly so. Back here on the bonny shores of Scotland at Royal Troon Golf Club, with just a wee breeze, as they say over here, Frank. On the tee at the 12th. The yeah, hole that bends to the right, uh, gorse right and left. There's a bit of a mound and rough down the right side that has to be avoided. Down the fairway with the booster with eight in my face. The wind that is, so we're just going to boost right through that. In the bottom right corner, you see me spinning to my right. Keep it on the fairway, center. Excellent right. drive right there, Frank. Circa 310. Second shot. Good look at the green. 133 to the pin. Five feet up. 35 went in my face. I need about 145, 139. Uh, could take the 139, but that wind's kicking strong. So I'll go to 145. I'll drop that down on the pad because the club was 156. I'll just drop that down to about 140. Let's go to 142. Again, born in February, I'll do that. All right, then. And the wind should push it back the rest of the way. And here we go. It should be pretty good right up. there. That wind's kicking on the safe side. You. And I'll wait to see. And it was almost like that's what he wanted to do, but why would you want it to run over the back? It's okay, we'll practice with the chipping game here. And we got eight to the hole. And I should get a nice roll, but I'm uphill. So it's eight. I'm going to take it to a six, being that it's uphill and the wind's in my face, but we're not really worried about the wind. Maybe six too strong, but let me see, it's down, it's sloped to the left, right to left. So I'm going to come to my right a little bit of the pin. I'll take a six because it's uphill. Let's see how that works, folks. Oh, it's going to kick off that. Oh, we got a slope right there. Let's tap a little to my left again. All right, that'll work. Let's just do it like that to get up on the green. And he's made the green. Good-looking putt, just not Carol falling right, right now. There, folks. Mm -hmm. Sadly, he's going to be disappointed. Just a couple of feet. I don't do that often, but sometimes, hey, it is golf, you know. Bad news is, that's a bogey. Yeah, good tied. news, still tied for the lead. Yeah, he's the only Jordan. one disappointed. The rest of the field on. Got over, buddy. I did a real cat fight. Good, Frank. Oh, straight at it. Left it up. Just to center it on the fairway. Frank, such an advantage when you can hit that far. It's not fair. And he's set up for his second shot here, looking to knock it on the green. That's what it is on the final day. The purple and yellow. You can see. You can say gold, yeah. for the uphill. 125, went in my back, 118. It'll work. So I'll drop it down to 118, but I'm going to go to 15, because that's my birthday. That's right. Let's get my aim correct. 7 to the right. And undulation, everything good. Like a little 
the pitch to the left, downhill left. Accommodate for that with the eye. Gotta have a good eye in this game, folks. Alright, we'll leave it there. And swing away. Low back win, there it is. Oh, solid strike right in the, in the heart of the green. Good clean contact and a nice result. And a chance for Birdie coming up. Right. Now this for Birdie came away with par in the previous Straight round. Straight in level. No, four inches down. We see that already. Of course we're going to go down to 13. And that should do it. I'm going to take a closer look. Alrighty then. Swing away. Or should I say put away. Hit it. Did I not? Oh, you know what? Makeable putt Let's right here. He is currently there. sitting at one under for the round. Yeah. Doesn't matter. My mistake. In for par. Heading for home now, Frank, the par 3, 14, just Five, under 180 left, yards. Three. What's the key here? Well, it's rather narrow at the front there. There's three bunkers, but it's the second two that you really worry about that narrow the front of the screen up. Plus, the front is slightly raised, so ideally you want it to fly it more towards the middle where it starts to widen up. No. Let's go 85. 8, 9, win. Over here. Let's do it. Certainly had enough power, just didn't have any yeah, touch. Chicken. Second shot coming out of the rough here. Let's drop this to make up for that last hole. At 11. Let's go chip this. Since my chipping game is pretty solid. Okay, good shot on the dance floor. That's fine for par. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. All right, Jordan, don't make a move yet. <coughs> par here's fine, isn't it, Frank? No, he did make a move, but the wrong way. I take the lead to get. At the 15th, this oh, par four speed. is over 480 yards. The key here really is the three bunkers, two on the left, one on the right. 260 yards gets you past that. You find the fairway here, then you don't have to worry about the three bunkers that are short of this green. I'm going to smack the crap out of this one. The boosty boost, as I call it. With that fairway wide open. Bottom right, you see me spin it. Ball in the air, next button, continuous tapping. Nothing to argue about there, right in the fairway. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Let's go over here in the crowd to accommodate for that win, folks. Nine win 
starts kicking. But we'll do that. Blow over. Blow over. Blow over. We're going to have to spin it down to the pin. Box it up on the green. It is about 28 feet away from the hole. Far yesterday. Oh. Now for birdie. What a putt. 30-footer. Looks pretty straight to me. Going to my right a little bit, so... I'm just going to tap a little to the left, and that should do it. That should be it, folks. This one has a good line. That is a cross no, we country wrong putt again, right folks. there. Up and over the ridge. That's a seagull. The back nine here at Royal Troon has only one par five. Here it is, Frank. At 542 yards, you'd think it's reachable, but that burn cuts in at 280 yards, so it means you have to lay back. But I remember back in 1997 playing alongside Tiger Woods, and he still managed to get it onto the green from behind the burn. That was some shot. You knew at that point he was something special. He certainly was. He then knocked it in from 40 feet for an eagle three. Folks, I'm back. Sorry about that. The miss as well as a call. And I will take this with a downhill 13 footer, 12 footer, and a little wind. I'll just swing away with the boosty boost. He's loading up on that. Look at the creek right there. there. Get Did up. Ball explode. Get up. That there it is. Oh, I mean, really big. Spin that to the left diagonal and get it back in the center of the fairway. Frank, right where you want to be. Oh, wouldn't be better in, if it was on a tee. Right in the fairway, 180 yards from here. Downhill. 180. I want to box a meet. I have a 181 club. I'm going to go out eight right there and leave it there. Oh, I saw a little slope right there. Just cut back a little bit. That'll work for me. And swing away. Get over that flag. You see, he blew over that time. This is a good-looking shot. See the bottom. I'm bring it back. Best I can. But that was a big, it. bold right. strike, and now a chance for a, a free bold shot, move. Putt for Eagle Put coming up. Yeah. That's why I am nutty Frank, boots. I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, footer, but this is footer. a long putt. Greens are faster. Mm -hmm. You know. 40 footer. Can you read it? Good line. Have good pace. Oh, Might have a chance. Is, Drop this down to 31. Just doing the math. How can I get the angle? Remember, white line off the putter. Using the eye. Over there, a little smidge more. Let's see. Straight off the putter. Go straight up. Do not curve with the white line. Tap a smidge to the left. And call it a day. Alright. Extra zoom. Nope. I'm going to go back out where I was a little bit more. Right there. I probably should have stayed, but let's do it. Cut back, baby. Cut back, baby. Cut back, baby. Oh, I knew it. I'm up. very happy with that one. Right. Yeah, lag part. I mean, really, it's unrealistic to try and make those. Well, so any time you can uh, two putt from there is a good result. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. This putt for birdie. Hard putt. Soft hands. Beautiful roll. 17th here at Royal Troon. This is a very strong par three, isn't it, Frank? Well, if, rabbit have, if rabbits have teeth, then this is why it's called rabbit. Very, very strong par three. I have that club at 217. Let's go over to accommodate that nine win. Let's just stay right there and swing away. It's blowing, but I gotta bring it back. I gotta bring it over. I gotta bring it back and over. It's 
okay. Stay right there. Frank, it hit the green, but just didn't have enough backspin. Yeah, it, uh, you, you wonder what he's thinking on that. Frank, you like his chances to walk away with a par here? Well, with a good shot, Rich, yeah, that's certainly on the cards in that. And um, when you think, you just ride a par down at the end of the, end of the hole, don't tell anyone about it. It certainly won't affect the scorecard at the end of the day. So that's the goal right here. Two inches up. Solid play, heart of the green. All right. Mm. Should be straight in. No. He's still He's an awkward length. Ah, that should do it. Frank, how does this 18th hole here at Royal Troon stack up against some of the other finishing holes in major championship golf? Rich, it's a stout par four, uh, 464 yards, so it's sort of in the elk of a Muirfield or Royal St. George's finishing hole. They've had some great um, 18th holes in Open Championships. Uh, this is actually called Craig End, and it's the name of the old farm that was demolished at the turn of the century. So the 18th hole, uh, it's certainly grown up, and it's uh, flourished to more than a farm. This has exploded off the club first. Frank, this is a hole, number 18, where you don't want to be in a hurry to get to the clubhouse. Yeah, there's out of bounds um, just off the back of the screen, so uh, you might want to keep that in the back of your mind. Don't go long. Yeah, OB is just steps from the clubhouse. Safely on deck. So maybe a nice way to finish up with a good approach here to the 18th and a good chance for Birdie to win the Open Championship. had that. Well, that would have been a bonus had it gone in, but still, reasonable chance for par here. Yeah, there's no damage. That's You're not going to birdie every hole. Solid par. Rich, it came down to just a shot or two here or there, but uh, we were treated to some amazing golf this week. Just one player standing. That was earned well-deserved, beautifully played. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time with some Madden. Or some scary stuff. Ow!